What's going on guys? Ben Gligan here coming back at you with another video fresh off of the week two loss against the New England Patriots. 38 to 10. Had some frustrating things happen in that game. But if you guys are new here, I appreciate you rocking with me coming back for more episodes of Dolphins franchise. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome. And uh, definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. I live stream. I post a bunch of stuff on all those. So uh, they're good spots to be. But if you watched the last episode, you know that we had a breakout challenge. And we failed it. So I guess uh, if we if we got it there, we get upgraded development on Jerome Baker. But uh, we were cheated, so we didn't. Off to week three, we got the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, I'm still... I'm still so, so annoyed at what happened last game. But let's go ahead and, and look at the players in this draft class. It will be auto-generated. I think it makes it the most fun for these uh, type of series. But for the realistic rebuilds, I will be using actual players. But for these, I like to just let the CPU do whatever. And, um, of course, if you are a supporter on Patreon, I'm going to do a fantasy franchise down the line. Uh, and then you guys are actually going to be able to be in that main franchise. More details on that later down the line. But, um... This is the class. We have holes at every position, really. Looks like only one first-round quarterback projected thus far. Uh, a bunch of first-round halfbacks. I like to see that. Might be interested in taking a halfback. Also, could be tempted by a receiver, depending on what's available. Joey Rutherford out of North Dakota with a first-round grade on him. We got some interesting schools out here with these uh, receivers. North Dakota, Troy, Columbia. Like, really? <laughs> okay tight end um i mean we have gasicki i'm not really interested in a tight end definitely wouldn't take one in the first round uh the offensive line class doesn't look incredible right now could be interested in taking a defensive lineman wouldn't be opposed to that a uh, bunch of good looking right ends i like to see that um defensive tackle could be tempted to take one as well i keep saying tempted but i mean like it's not at the top of my list, but I also would not be opposed. Some good linebackers. We really needed that, man, because our linebacking core is not ideal. I like Raekwon. I like Jerome Baker, but we got some holes there still. Um, some good linebackers to choose from. Really, there are, it looks like. We'll be scouting all these guys. I'll show you if I see anyone that's particularly worth mentioning. And um, I wish the safeties were better, but you never know what you're going to find when you start scouting. So Titus Avant is decent for the uh, third round there. Six foot four as a safety as well. If he's fast, I might be interested in that. Looks like he could be a very, very good. Interesting player. We'll keep an eye on him. I know we do have Minka Fitzpatrick, but he could always slide over to play strong safety where we could move Minka at a corner for slot, something like that. As far as draft stories go, we have uh, unrivaled strength. He still hit the weight room, or he'll, he'll still hit the weight room, but strictly for workout purposes, as Bradley Samuels has chosen to drop his pursuit of Olympic gold in powerlifting in favor of football. And of course, football through the generations, football has been passed down through the generations in the Abraham family. The torch is being carried now by left outside linebacker Matthew Abraham at South Carolina. Maybe some good development traits there. It's worth looking into. But the 0-2 Dolphins are headed to Arlington to play the undefeated Dallas Cowboys. They're an 83 overall. If I had to guess, I would say this one probably doesn't go well for us. But you guys already knew that. All right. We are kicking off to start this game as we almost always are. And I like that. I prefer to kick. I would kick every single time if I had the option. And that's what my setting is uh, to, to prefer to kick. Receiving just uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'd rather, you know, work it out in the first half and then get the ball to start the second half to either keep up forward momentum or uh, give us a chance to get back in the ball game. So uh, let's see what we can do in this game. It's going to be an RPO to start things off. Throw at me. I'm trying to cover so many people. Ugh. A great toss by Dak. I like how that was an accurate pass. I guess if he was throwing to the ground on purpose, which I maybe he may have been. He's throwing short. Bricks off Zeke's hands. And it uh, looks like Dallas will punt. So the defense holds strong here on the uh, first set of downs. 
Good slant. It's going to be really tough in this game. It's going to be so tough. You look at all the superstar X-Factors over the field on offense. Zeke, you got Demarcus Lawrence, you got Leighton Vander Esch. It's not good. It's not good for us. I guess are there, are there star players or something? Kalen Balazs showcases some power for once in his career so far. I say career, oddly. I may have. I Like, it was bothering me. I had to point it out. Um, let's throw that ball underneath. Devontae Parker uh, bricks off his hands, and it's intercepted. Because, I mean, why not? And then he's just juking all over the place, and conservative tackle refuses to let me bring him down. He's just like, whoop, whoop. Fuck. Oh, now it wants to work on the interception. Uh, easy reads. Oh, the places you'll go. We got the interception here with Jerome Baker. I'm trying to get excited about it, but I'm, I'm still upset. <laughs> we got a pick six. Where was that last game? 84 yards to the house. I'm going to get in a better mood. <laughs> I'm all like, mm, I'm sad right now. Well, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. Uh, we'll get better. Oh, wow, what a shot by Raekwon McMillan, recovered by Andrew Van Ginkle. Does he have the speed to outlast Michael Gallup? He does. Touchdown. Back-to-back -back defensive touchdowns for the Miami Dolphins, doing what we can't do on offense, and that's scoring points. 14-0 Miami Dolphins. Can we hold on? Unlikely. A big hit by Jerome Baker playing some good zone coverage there. He caught that? Okay, I guess. Don't really know. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Tony Pollard, is that who that is? Looked like Barry fucking Sanders, if I'm honest. Is that... I'm not there? Okay. Oh, Xavier Howard, you gotta jump that, buddy. He did, he just couldn't uh, secure the interception. He's already proving to be the star of this defense. And no one else seems to be even that good at all. Hey, nice broken tackle. That's a big play. Who shed there? Who's 56? Devon Godshaw wears 56 as a defensive tackle. That is gross. Dallas on the board with a field goal, though, as uh, we will start the second quarter. See what Jakeem Grant can do, if anything. And, um, nah, nothing. Yeah, I mean, there's there's not much to do there. Just, uh, they played perfect zone coverage. Anywhere I were through the ball, felt like it would have been an interception. So I guess the best option was taking the sack. I, that's never the best option, but uh, it's better than an interception. Because at least now we can punt. Oh, that's a perfect touch pass, and uh, that's a vicious face mask. His neck is probably broken. Oh, my Lord. How many... Fa I toned it down, man. It's like a 39 face mask. Where's Jerome Baker face mask. I don't think so. Really? Did he get back there for that? Okay. Is that a face mask again? Are we just out here trying to snap next? Yeah, it's another face mask. Jesus, dude. Oh, it's another fumble. It's recovered by Jerome Baker. Who forced that? That was a shot. I like the rate that we're forcing fumbles at, though. Hit sticks seem to result in fumbles a lot. I like that. Is that going to be undercut? Oh, jeez. Third and 12 from the one. Let's just not get safety, please. I'll take it. We'll punt again.
Good tackle by Minka in the open field. Dallas is going to punt. So we get the football back. We're still holding this lead. We should be able to take this lead into halftime where we'll also return. If we can extend this even, you know, as little as, as 17 to 3, I think we're still going to be in a great spot. Only problem is we're going to have to drive down 76 yards to do it. We're going to try this one-on-one. -on -one. Gasicki's got size, and he catches the ball. Into Cowboy territory. With all the face masks in this game with the Cowboys, it's like broke neck mountain. We're playing well, though. Got to keep it up on the run. Okay. Uh, so let me break that down for you. I'm, a, I'm upset about this as well. Uh... I tried to step up, and then I was going to go to circle, but I guess we were already over the line. So Josh Rosen's like, watch me spin like a ballerina. And uh, then he fumbles the ball. And now we're only up by four. There we go. Nick O'Leary. He seems to just be a random burst of a, of a bunch of yards all at once. 21 seconds. We just took a bad sack. Dallas called a timeout. Uh, I know this is going to be controversial here. I just want to see what it looked like if we went for it. Uh, we can't. We can't. It's just it'd be stupid. Prescott trying to step up. Has 40 minutes in the pocket before he eventually goes down. That's Charles Harris who got there. Probably his first career sack. And that's going to take it to the half. We're up by four. As predicted, we are not holding this lead very well. We're not exactly stretching it out either. We need to start scoring points. This is probably the worst offense in football, maybe of all time. Third and two. Get up there. Kenyon Drake. There we go. First down. It feels like a long release. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his third sack of the game. Um, I feel like I pressed it, and I'm just I'm just watching Josh Rosen go in slow motion when he gets sacked. It's just a uh, I don't know. I guess I can't lob the ball. There we go, Devontae Parker. Big third down completion. I'm trying to throw less than three interceptions this game. It's going okay so far. Oh, uh, you're in the backfield. I didn't... Okay. That's just... Uh, yeah, it's confusing. Three receivers, yet he's in the backfield before I can even... Snap the ball, it felt like. That's great blocking by 67, by the way. Who, Who is that? Daniel Kilgore? Fucking block somebody. That's your entire job. He's just running forward, not looking for anyone. Gasicki. That's a big catch. We're going to go for it as well. From the 43, one yard to gain. We got this. Come on, Drake. Why did you spin? I didn't press spin. I pressed R2. It means go forward. Oh, Jesus. No way. There's no way. Did you see this? Tony Pollard, who already has looked like Barry Sanders, is now outperforming Barry Sanders. I don't know how he was still going there. That's the most ridiculous eight yards I've ever seen. Just give me the ball. I'm right there. Ugh. Oh, that's so open. Randall Cobb, I'm, uh, I'll have to ask, you know, what the fuck was going on there, because he was wide open. We're in hard flats. I guess that makes sense. Bad call, based on the play. That's a touchdown? Yeah, I mean, that'll happen. Now we've officially lost the lead. It was only a matter of time. I don't know that we're going to win a game this season. 
That's, I think, where we are right now. And it's sad. Our third down and a one attempt was unsuccessful. Can I fake punt here? We're gonna we're gonna go for a fake punt. Maybe they won't expect it. That's the end of the third quarter. Maybe we line up and call an actual play. We're gonna go fake punt off tackle. They're not gonna be ready for it. Let's get it. Come on. Here's a snap. Uh, we didn't get it clearly. See, uh, <laughs> I'll go to replay mode so you guys can understand where uh, where I was on that because um, I snapped it right, and then I see oh. That's shed. That block is shed almost instantly. So I'm like, let's cut it back to the left. See if we can go through this wide open hole. And we couldn't. So, um, back to you in the studio. That's mine. User pick. Easy reads. Oh my goodness. What's a book by Dr. Seuss? Uh, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. If I was going to look into it, I mean, I probably should have chose one a little bit more obscure. I know that one already. I say Murr, a little bit more obscure. Uh, we're going to lob it deep. He got that ball off really quickly. I'm going to throw a pick probably. That's what happens next. Another sack uh, by Demarcus Lawrence. Right tackle is not doing a great job. That's Jordan Mills. He's been uh, poor, to say the least. And you're gonna fumble there, Kenyon Drake? Why not? Just who care? Who feels like holding a ball for that long? You know, I totally get it. Just throw it at the ground. Ooh, it's overturned. <laughs> nice. Now we get to punt. Great. Oh, that's gonna be a great punt, idiot. That's inside the ten. That's why they call me the best punter on YouTube because I can't do anything else. Make the play! Xavier Howard interception! House this! Howard! We take the lead! Three defensive touchdowns are our only points of the game. Xavier Howard already with his fourth of the year. We've played in three games. This one's not even over yet. 21-17 Dolphins. This reminds me like a nice... like. 80s football matchup. You asked me about the 80s, what teams I'm thinking of, like 70s, 80s. I'm thinking Dolphins, Cowboys, Steelers are kind of the main ones. I mean, like the Vikings and Packers, like were 60s and 70s. They were good too. But, you know, like uh, Dolphins, Cowboys feels like a, just a classic matchup. Oh my goodness, what a play. Raekwon McMillan, another hit stick fumble. And it's recovered by Jerome Baker, his second fumble recovery of the game. Very nice. Oh, I've done it again. I, I said I wasn't ever going to call that play again, and I've done it again. And the same thing happens every time. <laughs> I'm so mad, and I've accidentally called a timeout. I probably am going to use I'm going to need that later, and it doesn't exist anymore. We're down again. Fuck that play. I keep calling it, and I keep throwing pick sixes. I'm giving away points. It's infuriating. Please fit that in there. Uh, almost. I don't know. Third and five. Open over the middle. It's Devontae Parker. First down and more. We're still in this game, miraculously. Because we've, uh, we've really tried to choke this one away. I mean, I want to I fit that in there. It's just not an accurate throw at all. Go, Rosen. I'm going to have to throw it away. I had open guys. It, just, uh, it was a tough situation. Now, 59 yards. Do I have the wind with me at least? We do. This is going to be a tough field goal. I'm going to try. That's all I can say. I'm going to try. I may have missed it. Kick is up. Looks like it's online. And it's off the camera and good. 59-yard <laughs> field goal. 
seems to be about the max distance we're capable of kicking. It is tied up at 24. Four minutes to play here in Arlington, Texas. Give me it! Ah! All right, successful defensive series for us. We stopped Dallas from moving the ball really at all. And now we have two minutes to drive down the field and get any type of point. Field goal, we win the game. Touchdown, we win the game. Yeah, depending on how we manage the clock, of course. Uh, and uh, Devontae Parker, big catch. Open things up. I made the wrong decision. That's a one-hand interception by Byron Jones. Uh, wow. Uh, there's my third. I really just can't stay out of my own way. Uh, it's tough to it's tough to be me. It is. I wish the receivers would get open and make easier decisions for me. That's what I hope for. It's never gonna happen. Oh, he's going deep down the middle. Rashad Jones almost takes it away. In and out of his hands. Target for Brett Maher is the 43-yard line. And they're just about on that. Second and nine. Dallas in a big spot to win this one. We need a big tackle by Xavier Howard. All right. We got a timeout off. Nice. I feel like we really shot ourselves in the foot this game, unfortunately. We really just have to block the field goal. Oh my god, we did, we did it! We did it! Tory McTire blocks it! It's recovered by Nate Orchard! Why did Tory McTire not recover it? That's a gigantic block! Could be enough to force OT. What a play! And then, of course, we take a sack. I mean, there's nothing I can do there. That's Demarcus Lawrence's fifth. Uh, I'm trying to just wait for anything to get open. It's never going to happen. We need to upgrade this offensive line in a huge way. But we're going to overtime. And the Cowboys win the toss. Of course, they're going to receive. Let's make it happen in OT, man. Um, dude. Tony Pollard is driving me insane. Who is he? I don't even know who he is. It's his first career rushing touchdown. He looks like Barry Sanders. Ah, uh, we've lost the game. As far as the stats go, I mean, still can't throw a touchdown with Josh Rosen. Still just yakking up picks like it's nothing. We still can't run the ball. Uh, no one gets open. The team is so bad. And I'm not doing them any favors. Interceptions from Xavier Howard. I mean, he's very good. Raekwon McMillan forced three fumbles. That's pretty cool. We had three defensive touchdowns. And it just, uh, it was not enough. I, I, I'm an absolute embarrassment. Uh, and so can the game be. I don't know why I talk like fucking Yoda or whoever. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know some of these are frustrating to watch as they are frustrating to play. And when you guys see my mistakes as well, it's uh, it gets to be a little much. But hopefully you're enjoying the series, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.